Hello and thanks for joining us today. We bought ourselves a new greenhouse and here it is. Yep, that's it. Those two packages. A few years ago we bought ourselves a greenhouse and we decided it was definitely one of our better purchases. It was plastic covered though. It was good quality plastic but after a couple of years it started to deteriorate. We patched it for a little bit. We bought rolls of like, sheet plastic and covered it to tide it over, but it's definitely time to start again. So today our focus is to pull the old greenhouse down and then we're hoping that we're gonna be able to build this new greenhouse by ourselves. A friend had put up the old one for us, but he's not available to do it this time. So we're going to do our best and see how that goes. This is our old greenhouse. You can see it's definitely past its prime. It has been good though. We didn't want to spend a lot of money on a greenhouse. We're not amazing gardeners. We use it primarily for storing our plants in the winter. We are in North Florida, so it does get cold from time to time. Uh, we really need somewhere to keep them. We've been storing some pots in it, as you can see, but they definitely need a new home. They're barely even sheltered from the weather right now. So we'll be pulling that apart. back to the greenhouse project. It's been about four weeks since we started the greenhouse project and as you can see we haven't gotten very far. When we got our package about four weeks ago we started unpacking. We took out the first pieces, four of these to make the base framework and then we couldn't find the parts to hold them together. We went through the box and we finally decided probably what happened was there was a bag of nuts and bolts. You know how these kits have a bag of hardware. Um, we, the box was taped together uh, so perhaps it had a hole in it and maybe that bag had fallen out and somebody saw the hole taped it up didn't realize there was a bag missing. So from there, we had to unpack everything and figure out what we had and what was missing. We went through all of the parts and nothing on the paperwork actually tells you how to contact the company to let them know there are bits missing. Maya's coming to help. But we ordered it through Amazon and God bless Amazon, they provided a way to contact the company. So I sent them a message and listed all the parts that were missing. And they kindly responded the next day with an apology and said, we'll send it right out. It'll take 10 to 14 days. Now understand that we had already waited a couple of weeks to get this, it comes in two parts. We had to wait for two boxes. 
So one arrived in about 10 days and the other about two weeks. So two weeks later, we got this shipment of a pole. I, I don't know what this pole is for. I don't remember seeing that in the directions, but I looked at the label and sure enough, it had the same tracking number that they told us um, would, our package was coming. I got back onto Amazon, sent them a message and said, today I received a poll. It has this tracking number, but I don't know what the poll is for. And we haven't received any of the parts that we need to assemble the greenhouse. They responded, the parts are in the box. To which I said, what box? All we got was a poll. And they said, sorry, we'll send you out a box with the parts. It'll be another 10 to 14 days. Now, imagine... <laughs> We've already had these sitting around our house now for more than two weeks. This box here, parts that you're looking for, actually came first. And so it's taking up space. And it's open. We've had to tear the box and cut through it to get through all this um, tape that it was taped up with. So <laughs> this is sitting in our house. Two weeks later, we get another box. So this is a tad frustrating to me. All I wanted were the missing parts. And now we have a whole other kit. So I have no idea what we're going to do with all the spare parts we have. But I'm hoping that there will be enough parts there to put this greenhouse together. I am a tad concerned that there was this hole in it and this end is all taped up. So when we unpack it, we'll find out if the pieces are really there or not. As long as the bag of nuts and bolts is there, I think we'll be good. Here's a bag we didn't have before. I can see why they didn't notice that this bag was missing because it's not very big. Step one, we assemble the base. Lisa got it as level as she could and we think we're off to a good start. for a tea break. The base is done. Guess what's next? The roof windows and the door, of course. We started building the frame and then the camera died. We weren't working quickly enough, I guess. Day two of greenhouse construction. Yesterday was a really long day. We started about 
9.30 in the morning and wrapped it up probably about 5.30. We did take a couple of breaks for lunch and one time I just had to sit down because my back was hurting from bending over so much. In spite of a long day, we can't say that we're really close to being done yet. One of the reasons it's taken us so long is that we don't really understand all the instructions. Everything is in pictures and sometimes it's not really clear to us which way around things go. Pictures, having pictures is probably better than text though. This seems like it was translated by somebody who knows English but doesn't really understand the nuances of the language. They're putting up the words but it doesn't always make sense to us. And sadly, because I didn't understand, um, now that we've gotten this far into the project, I've realized that I misunderstood something in the very first direction. So <laughs> I've got to pull this apart and fix it because I used some parts here that we should have used um, a little later. And of course, I don't have them now. We have a limited number of parts. So we'll see how this goes today. Somehow overnight, we acquired some frogs. We've got a couple of cute little frogs here. Can you see them? There's another one. Oh, there he goes. I have to figure out how to get them out. I thought there was only one. It's been really wet this year, and we've got lots of frogs and lots of lizards. Yay, we got it on! Now we have to screw it to the base, which turned out to be way harder than we expected. Sometimes these directions have been completely unclear. For example, when we put this in, it said put in four screws like this. So we put in four screws and then it said fasten one to the top, fasten one to the bottom, and then there's a cross pole. Okay. So that's three screws. So did you tell us the wrong number of screws? Or what are we supposed to do with the other one? We had to dig all the way through the book to find out that ultimately we were going to use this fourth screw, but it needed to be above the crossbar that's fastened and not below. It's been challenges like that that have kept us 
going so long. This one is like the other one we already did. So we're hoping that we have directions for six of these that they're telling us to put in here. Now the frame is up, it's finally time to install those windows we assembled at the beginning. You can see we made good progress while the camera batteries were charging, again. The plastic for the windows was well protected from its scratches. It's corrugated and seems sturdy. Putting the drain pipes on was a challenge. It was hard to work in the space and we had to remove some parts to do it. We found the hammer to be a particularly helpful tool in this instance.
So we're more or less finished. There are a couple of bits that we have to do. We've got caps still for all of these um, open screws. You know, remember I said earlier they told us put an extra one in before and we didn't know what to do with it. We did figure out that one. We haven't figured out this one yet. There are some bits we really don't know what to do with. Um, so we'll, I think we'll just do the caps tomorrow. The shelves we've put in, we managed to reclaim from our old greenhouse that we had to dismantle, but shelves are still good. Um, I'm not really sure. I think we have them kind of backwards with this post in the front instead of the other way around, but oh well. Um, yeah, that really is oh well because Lisa secured those to the ground. So, so all the aloe is going back in and we're pretty much done. So we're kind of hoping that this never ever ever blows away or if it blows away that it blows away completely. Um, the bits don't break because we really don't ever want to have to do this again. That was a lot of effort. It's taken us best part of two days working together and we have been blessed though by having to wait the four weeks before we could start. The weather is so much cooler than it was four weeks ago. We were way up in the 90s. Today it's still pretty warm. It's in the 80s. Did you point out the cute little windows in the roof? My yeah, favorite part. We, we got this particular greenhouse because Lisa wanted windows in the roof. And this has windows in the roof. We've managed to work together these two days without griping at each other, so that was a good thing. Um, we do have some old bits of the previous greenhouse we need to dispose of, but for the most part that's okay. Our house is kind of a wreck because there are parts <laughs> From this where we ended up with two boxes. We've got all these spare parts we have to figure out what to do with. Um, you hate to just put them in the trash so they go in the landfill. So we've got to figure that one out. But all in all it's it's been fun. So thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe below and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.